In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use R to conduct the randomization test. So if you've downloaded R, you should see an R icon on your computer. If you double click this, you see the R program. It's a little bit unclear exactly what to do here, um, but in your textbook, on the CD in your textbook, but also in your course website, there's an R manual. So going to the chapter one R code, what I'm going to do is I am going to, instead of uh, reading the data in, I'm going to describe how to do that later. We can define two columns. One column that I'm interested in doing is the control, the female control group. So I'm just defining female control, this variable to represent this vector. And going back to the R code, I'm going to have the treatment group as well. Now if I type in control.female, it gives me that column of data. So instead of reading in the entire file, I just typed in the two columns that we're interested in in this case, in this problem set. I can also do things like, for example, wanting summary data for the control.female group. So there's the minimum, the first quartile, the median, the mean, and the mean. So the mean of the control treatment, treatment, treatment group is 12. If I do the treatment female group, the mean of the female treatment group is 4.4. The mean of the control female group is 12. So we can get our summary statistics as well. But we want to use this data, just like we did previously with 10 cards. We want to combine these 10 units into one group and randomly sample them so that they're randomly assigned to either the treatment or the control group. So if we go to our instructions, we want to do 10,000 replications of this. This is what's assigned in our textbook. So we take the 10,000 reps, and so again, reps just as 10,000. It means that's how many times we're going to do, how many replications we're going to do in the simulation study. You can define it to be 10 or 100 or whatever you're interested in defining it as. And then I'm going to create a vector. This is a little different than other software. What I'm doing here is I am creating a vector with 10,000 spaces that we're going to fill up. So if I just type results, <laughs> See, there's 10,000 observations. They're all blank now, but that's essentially what we did with this command. It's just create a vector, a numeric vector that had 10,000 spaces in it. Now, just like we did previously, I'm going to define x or as um, a vector of 10 observations. The first five are the female treatment. The second five are the control. So if I type x, you can just see it's essentially like we put all 10 cards into one pile. So now what we're interested in doing is to take these 10 observations, randomly pick five and put them into the control group and randomly put five into the treatment group. Then we're going to take the mean of the five in the randomly selected control group minus the mean of the five in the randomly selected treatment group. So to go into our instructions, you see we have to do um, a for loop so this all has to be typed in together. Um, for i in 1 to 10,000, because we defined reps to be 10,000, I could have just put 10,000 in here if I wanted to, we're going to define temp. And that's going to be a random sample from these 10 observations. And in that random sample of these, the first five are going to be the control group and the second five are going to be the treatment group. So results i, when i equals 1, the first element of this vector of 10,000 observations will just be the mean of this randomly selected control minus the mean of the randomly selected treatment. And then it's going to do it for i equal 2. So the second element of this vector is going to be mean of a new randomly selected control group minus the mean of the randomly selected treatment group. So that went very quickly. If you work through this in Minitab, you'll see that this is much quicker than in Minitab. But now if I type results, it did this 10,000 times. You could, if you look up here, see there are 10,000 different cases where it randomly assigned out of those 10 to a treatment and control group and then found the difference in the means. Now one thing I'm interested in here is doing a histogram of the results. 
Here's my histogram. You can see it counts how many times each observation occurred. And my key question that I want to know here is I want to define what the p-value is. And in this case, I'm going to define the p-value as summarizing whenever the result is greater than or equal to 7.6. So if I it did that calculation for me, and my p-value is 0 0.0238. About 2.5% of the time, we're going to observe a difference in the mean of the control group minus the mean of the treatment group to be 7.6 or greater.